Greetings Cheney UMC and friends. My name is Stan Kerr and it is my privilege to lead uh, this week's spiritual exercise of Lectio Divina. Uh, we are on the, the Pacific coast this morning on the, on the Washington coast. An absolutely beautiful morning. Uh, we also today will be in the book of Obadiah chapter 1 verses 15 to 18. Let's see what God has in store for us on this beautiful morning on the Pacific Coast. Let us open today's Lectio in prayer. Steer the ship of our lives, good Lord, to your quiet harbor, where we can be safe from the storms of sin and conflict. Show us the course we should take. Renew in us the gift of discernment so that we can always see the right direction in which we should go. And give us the strength and courage to choose the right course, even when the sea is rough and the waves are high, knowing that through enduring hardship and danger in your name, we shall find comfort and peace. As you prepare for this time of sacred reading or, or Lectio Divina, I encourage you to find a quiet place where your heart and mind can spend this time with God. If you feel like lighting a candle, that would be a great idea as well. Take a moment to just slow down. Close your eyes, lower your shoulders, and try this breathing exercise. Breathe in slowly through your nose and hold it. Breathe in a second time, holding the first breath in your lungs and push that first breath even deeper into your lungs. And now exhale slowly out your mouth. Do this a couple of more times to help calm your mind, to lower your heart rate, and get ready, getting more prepared for this conversation and time with God. God speaks to us through the sacred scriptures, letting us know that he has unconditional love for us. Today's scripture will be read for a total of three times. Listen closely for a word or phrase, or perhaps it will be an image or feeling that speaks or rings out to you as the scripture is read for the first time. Hang on to that image or phrase or feeling and repeat it or focus on it deeper to yourself a couple of times. This is a time of conversation and prayer between you and God. Opening up your feelings is encouraged for this conversation with God. Any feeling from abundantly joyful to those desperately difficult. After each reading, use the silence that follows to reflect on that phrase or that word or that image or feeling and consider it as a spiritual gift from God that he wants you to use. Asking God how to use this spiritual gift is part of today's prayer. If nothing speaks to you or you're uncertain of what you're doing, pray boldly and without hesitation to God with unbelievable faith. God will answer you. Trust that God understands you. If your mind wanders, slowly bring it back to your listening to the scripture as you receive the gift of scripture today from God. Please hear God's word. Judgment day is near for all the godless nations. As you have done, it will be done to you. What you did will boomerang back and hit your own head. Just as you partied on my holy mountain, all the godless nations will drink God's wrath. They'll drink and drink and drink. They'll drink themselves to death but not so on Mount Zion. There is respite there, a safe and holy place. The family of Jacob 
will take back their possessions from those who took them from them. That's when the family of Jacob will catch fire. The family of Joseph become a fierce flame. When the family of Esau will be straw. Esau will go up in flames. Nothing left of Esau but a pile of ashes. God said it, and it is so. As you listen for a second time, allow the word or phrase, or perhaps it was a feeling or image that caught your attention, continue to stir your thoughts or feelings to a deeper level of reflection. In your mind's eye, consider what you see when you surround that word or phrase or feeling or image surrounded by a bright white light. Go slowly. Allow God time to say all he wants to say to you today. Judgment day is near for all the godless nations. As you have done, it will be done to you. What you did will boomerang back and hit your own head. Just as you partied on my holy mountain, all the godless nations will drink God's wrath. They'll drink and drink and drink. They'll drink themselves to death. But not so on Mount Zion. There's respite there, a safe and holy place. The family of Jacob will take back their possessions from those who took them from them. That's when the family of Jacob will catch fire. The family of Joseph will become fierce flame while the family of Esau will be straw. Esau will go up in flames. Nothing will be left of Esau but a pile of ashes. God said it, and it is so. honestly with God about whatever you're feeling. Listen for his invitations to you. How are you being called to respond to God's word? What do you need from God right now? God's judgment day is near for all the godless nations. As you have done, it will be done to you. What you did will boomerang back and hit your own head. Just as you partied on my holy mountain, all the godless nations will drink God's wrath. They'll drink 
and drink and drink. They'll drink themselves to death, but not so on Mount Zion. There's respite there, a safe and holy place. The family of Jacob will take back their possessions from those who took them from them. That's when the family of Jacob will catch fire. The family of Joseph become fierce flame, while the family of Esau will be straw. Esau will go up in flames, nothing left of Esau but a pile of ashes. God said it, and it is so. now in the presence of God. Your thoughts and feelings right now during this time of silence and conversation with God has been his gift to you. For a few moments simply close your eyes and be allowing the silence and message from God to rest in you. close in prayer. Almighty and merciful God, we trust in you and ask you to guide and bless us. We ask you, bring us together in prayer, in vision, and in our work. Remind us of brothers and sisters in need or suffering. Inspire us through your word and your Holy Spirit. Unite us from around the globe from all churches, from all cultures and languages. Unite us in your word. Almighty and merciful God, we trust in you and ask you to guide and bless us. Amen.